in this video we are going to discuss about negative feedback amplifiers so the negative feedback uh, we are applying uh, to the uh, mixer okay so the, uh, you can see the block diagram uh, a is nothing but an amplifier and beta is nothing but a feedback uh, factors and uh, from this uh, block diagram i can write uh, i am going to give a a uh, sine wave uh, since uh, amplifiers uh, we are using is a common emitter amplifier it will phase shift uh, the original signal by 180 degree and you will get uh, this signal and the beta beta is not uh, producing any phase shift so we are getting the same signal at the output of uh, the beta so you can compare if we compare vs and the vf uh, the both signal is the both signal is opposite to each other so we are uh, we are telling this one as a, a negative feedback okay so uh, from this uh, block diagram i can write uh, vi is equal to since uh, uh, it is flowing in this direction uh, i can write uh, vi is equal to vs minus vf so we know that uh, beta is equal to beta is equal to vf by v0 this is your output and this is your input and a is equal to uh, v0 by va so i can substitute instead of vf i can substitute uh, beta v0 beta v0 and v0 i can substitute a va so uh, va is equal to vs minus uh, beta a va so vs is equal to from this equation vs is equal to 1 plus beta a va what we actually we, we, we need to find is v0 by vs that is equal to if we if i multiply and divide by va term so v0 by va is into va by vs so what is v0 by va v0 by vs is a okay v0 by vs is a v0 by va is a and va by vs is from this equation i can write uh, 1 divided by 1 plus beta a okay so this is your um, uh, feedback amplifier gain voltage gain so this i can write it as uh, af 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 is equal to uh, a divided by 1 plus uh, a beta so similarly uh, if if we employ a 180 degree phase shift for the beta it will become a positive feedback so positive feedback uh, uh, is nothing but a application of positive feedback is nothing but an oscillator so you will get v0 by vs is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus beta a so where beta a is nothing but a loop gain so if uh, for oscillator you, you should have a high gain so if i need to have a high gain means i should equate this 1 minus beta a is equal to 0 so a beta is equal to 1 so this two condition that is total totally we are employing a 360 degree feedback and a zero degree feedback and modulus of a beta is equal to one so this two condition is called as barkhausen criteria for oscillator okay so we know that uh, the gain is inversely proportional to the stability so since uh, for oscillator we require a high gain the stable stability should be very less so this is opposite for the uh, feed, uh, negative feedback amplifier okay so let's discuss about the types of the negative feedback amplifier the first type is voltage series voltage shunt current series and current shunt so the voltage series amplifier is also called as uh, series mixing and uh, voltage sampling so series mixing we are employing at the input and the voltage sampling we are employing at the output so this is also called as series shunt amplifier series shunt voltage sampling is also called as shunt okay so since uh, for the input also we are employing a voltage and output also we are employing a voltage it is also called as voltage amplifier okay for voltage shunt it is also called as shunt mixing and voltage sampling this is also called as shunt shunt amplifier so the output is voltage and input is current it is also called as transition amplifier third one is current series current series is also called as series mixing and current sampling is also called as series series 
negative feedback amplifier so input you have output you have current and input you have voltage it is also called as transconductance amplifier so last step is current shunt uh, so you are employing current mixing and current sampling shunt mixing and current sampling is also called as shunt series i by a is nothing but a current amplifier okay so since um, for voltage series amplifier we are employing a series uh, um, uh, series and shunt uh, circuit input uh, we, it is series so the resistance is increasing since it is series so input resistance will increase by a factor of 1 plus a beta okay the output resistance since it is shunt output resistance is decreased by 1 plus a beta okay so so if it is series it will increase input increase shunt output decreases okay so what is current series current series is nothing but series series so both the resistance that is input resistance also increases and the output resistance also increases by a factor of 1 plus a beta okay so similarly for uh, similarly for the voltage shunt uh, uh, it is shunt shunt so both the uh, resistance will decrease by a factor of 1 plus a beta and the current shunt means shunt uh, series so uh, input resistance decreases and output resistance increases okay so we know that for the negative feedback uh, the gain also decreases by a factor of 1 plus a beta it is also called as desensitivity factor so for the amplifier so the application of uh, feedback uh, amplifier is um, negative feedback amplifier is uh, amplifier so for the amplifier the noise and uh, distortion also decrease by a factor of uh, 1 plus a beta okay so uh, next we uh, we have to discuss about the um, bandwidth okay so you can see this is a bandwidth of the signal without feedback so how to determine the bandwidth so you have to take a um, a minus 3 dB of this one and uh, 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 you have to mark the F1 and F2 value so the difference between the values um, bandwidth so bandwidth is equal to F2 minus F1 this one uh, this is because without applying a, a negative feedback if after applying the negative feedback the gain will get reduced so, and uh, if I take a 3 dB value and uh, uh, 3 dB value uh, the gain uh, the gain is this should come here okay uh, this should come here uh, so the uh, bandwidth is increasing okay so if I after applying the negative feedback the uh, bandwidth is increased by a factor of 1 plus beta a okay so if I compare the um, uh, so this f i f is uh, the the frequency which is applying after the negative feedback so uh, if we compare without the negative feedback this f1 is greater than uh, greater okay so i can write um, uh, fi is equal to f1 divided by 1 plus uh, beta a so if i see uh, for the higher frequency f2 f is higher right so f2 f is increased by a factor of 1 plus beta a so this you have to note it down so f2 is nothing but a high frequency and f1 is nothing but a low frequency after applying the feedback so that's all about the video thank you